Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Paranormal News. Tonight's article comes from AncientOrigins.net and the headline is The Giant Footprint of Pinyon. Giant made or man made? It was written by Veronica Parks and it was published June 6, 2020. Stories and tales about gigantic beings inhabiting the earth occur in almost all ancient cultures and civilizations. From the Indo-Europeans to the Greeks to the Christian Bible, tales of giants have been passed down from generation to generation, and these stories still exist in modern day. There has never been any concrete evidence to prove the existence of giants. That is, unless you believe the giant footprints that have been found across the globe. Multiple giant footprints have been discovered and are thought to be millions if not billions of years old. To the locals where these footprints can be found, they are known as the footprints of God. Could the history books and what we know of evolution be wrong? The Pinyon Giant Footprint In August 2016, a giant human-shaped footprint was discovered by a group of photographers in Pinyong Village in Guizhou, the southwestern province of China. By the following month, numerous websites have published similar stories that contributed to the believability of the account of the giant footprint. The footprint was said to be 57 centimeters long, 20 centimeters wide, and 3 centimeters deep. Found fossilized in rock, the footprint was dated back to the prehistoric era. Considering that the average foot size of a man is 18 centimeters, and the average for a woman is 16 and a half centimeters, this discovery would be monumental and leave historians and scientists alike questioning what we know of human history and evolution. The original article regarding the footprint gives a bare-bones description of the discovery and lists its sources merely as agencies. However, according to Snopes.com, a search was done of the local newspapers near Gaizu, and no article was written about the giant footprint in August 2016. Therefore, no reputable source has published any work on the topic neither in the media or the scientific community. However, many conspiracy websites have gotten a hold of the original article and link it to other alleged giant footprints. Leaving Giant Footprints These websites claim that an archaeologist named Michael Tellinger dated one of these giant footprints to be around 200 million years old. Tellinger supposedly found another giant footprint in Africa in 2012 and he was convinced that it was one of the best pieces of evidence proving that giants once roamed the earth. While Tellinger claims to be an archaeologist, many have denounced him as a conspiracy theorist. A third footprint was discovered in Bolivia, but CNN reported that the print was from a large carnivorous dinosaur rather than an ancient giant. Prior to that, another massive footprint was found in New Mexico by Jerry McDonald in 1987 which measuring 100 centimeters in length and was said to be 290 million years old. This print was recorded as the largest footprint made by a meat-eating dinosaur. However, this print has been problematic for paleontologists since there is no explanation as to how it got there or what left it. This again left room for the conspiracy websites to theorize and took this information to further prove the existence of ancient giants. Not rock-solid proof. The claims made by these conspiracy theorists hold no weight when it comes to any sort of academic research. The giant footprint of Pinyon is said to have been fossilized in solid granite, a material that does not lend itself to capturing any type of print. Also, the rock is most likely closer to 3.1 billion years old as opposed to 200 million. I'm going to stop for a second because just because the rock is 3. billion years old doesn't mean that the print has to be, that it can't be 200 million years old. There are so many things in this article that are wrong, but I'll talk about that after the article because I don't want to get too sidetracked. While the discovery of these other footprints has led to more and more questions, more research is being done on the topic. Could these footprints have come from ancient giant humans, possibly even our ancestors? There is no certainty yet. However, the research that has already been done points to an, that answer being unlikely. Top image, a man stands at what appears to be a giant footprint in bedrock in Pingyang, China. 
And I'm going to show you all of those photographs. Now, here's the first one that I just described. This is a man standing next to a large rock outcropping, maybe a cliff, something like that. And there is the, the footprint right there. Now, one thing I would wonder about this is how is it upright? You would think that if a giant was walking, it would be on the ground, not straight up like that. Would he walk straight up the cliff? But anyway, that is the first photograph there of the footprint. Here is another photograph of another giant footprint. This one is on the ground, and he is putting his foot inside the footprint for scale. Here is that footprint that he had his foot inside of without his foot in it. So you can actually see what the print itself looks like and the size of it. Because remember, his foot was in it. And it was only in the toe section. Now this to me seems like it's pretty cut and dry. I mean, I showed you the photograph. Now the first photograph I'm not too sure about because it's going up the side of a cliff and that doesn't make any sense to me. But it could be real. I don't know. But the second and third photographs of the footprint that's on the ground... That certainly looks like a human footprint, or at least a hominoid footprint, and not some sort of dinosaur print or something like that. And the idea that just because the rock is 3.1 billion years old means that this footprint can't be 200 million years old is silly. All that would have to happen is the rock would have to be heated to the point where an impression could be left. And that could have happened from multiple different things happening. It doesn't necessarily have to be that the footprint was left when the rock itself was being formed, when it was still molten. So that's the first thing that I would disagree with in this article. Also, them saying that the idea of ancient giants doesn't match what we know of human evolution is ridiculous. We don't know anything of human evolution, really. I mean, the theory is that we came from apes. But there's never been any link found between humans and apes. It's nothing more than a theory. They act like it's scientific law and that it's 100% true. It's never been proven. You have tales of giants throughout the mythologies and folklores of many different cultures in the world. They speak about giants in the Bible, in Genesis 6. They speak about giants in the Book of Enoch. You have multiple newspaper articles written in the times of the Old West and before about giant skeletons being found in giant burial mounds all across America. And it's not just in little rinky-dink papers. The New York Times ran an article about it. So the idea that somehow this is a conspiracy theory is ridiculous in my view. One thing you can always tell whenever you read any of these kind of articles when they say over and over again that the people who are making these claims are conspiracy theorists, they mention it over and over and over, the word conspiracy theorist. They are trying to convince you by using that label that the claims being made are ridiculous when nothing is further from the truth. Are these photographs photographs of actual giant footprints? I don't know. I don't know if they're real or if they're faked. I have no idea. But the idea of there once being giants on this planet and possibly still being giants on this planet is not a ridiculous concept. It is a concept that is shared by almost every civilization on Earth. And history is full of it. There's Native American tales about the giants. There's Native American tales about wars with giants. In the Lovelock Cave, where they had an actual war with a race of giants that was coming into their villages and stealing their women and children. So they went to war. So you have the legends, you have the newspaper articles, you have photographs from the time of the damn skeletons, and you have giant mounds, burial mounds, that were found throughout the West and America, all, all over America, during that time period when we were moving West to colonize the entire country. Now, they point to CNN 
in this article as a source that tells you that this is BS. I wouldn't trust anything CNN says. CNN lies more than anybody out there. If anybody is a conspiracy theorist, CNN would fit that bill. A hundred percent. How many times did they lie during the last presidency? Over and over and over again about Russia, about Ukraine, about everything. We know now that all of that was BS. So I don't put any stock in what CNN says. I don't care what CNN says. They're full of crap. And anybody that continually calls people that believe anything a conspiracy theorist, I don't trust them either because they're just trying to convince you that they're not telling the truth. Now, once again, are these photographs real? I don't know. I don't know if these are actual prints or they've been staged. They certainly look real, but I wasn't there when they were taken, so I can't tell you 100%, but I would believe them. They look real to me. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. As always, it's up to you to make up your own mind. I'll be interested to hear what you have to say in the comment section. And I'll catch you on the next one. Until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.